Vayne. Wonder what kind of characters they'll go today. Not really sure. Nibbles has help. been bringing out a lot of characters that aren't Icy's. Oh, you know, no, he's no, somewhat he frustrated. Nibbles again, I knew it. How it's did happening. you know? You called it? I called it. I oh saw my it. goodness. I remember, I remember hearing it on some far end of the internet corner. And it seems like people are inclined to tell us to play Dragon Quest XI. So guys, this is not sponsored, but please play Dragon Quest XI after this. Oh no, they're playing a normal match. Oh boy. Yep, it's a regular hero ditto. It's that kind of hero ditto. Oh no, it's, it's the sweaty person's hero ditto. Alright. This is, this is the type of hero ditto that I would play. Yeah. <laughs> if I pull him the character. Yeah, I think hero, like, if you play him legitimately like this, I think he's still a really strong character. Well hmm. not if you do that. <laughs> what happened? Kikami Kaze. Of course. Did he yeah. miss? He did he, miss. No, he got 10% off, because Xenospark was too far away. Oh. May as well be a miss. Alright. I don't know why Xenospark went for the Twack. Noodles actually had bounce on him, but I don't think he realized it. I'll smash. Uh. Alright. No crit. Bad luck. It's unfortunate. Kaboom. Okay. Goes for the edge yard. Alright, now he's just uh top decking. Look at these this interactive gameplay. Now both these players really want to find uh find the I don't even know what they want to find. They just wanna kill each other. <laughs> yeah, Hero has some surprisingly fairly balanced normals. Although they are a bit laggy. And they oh do take a while God. to wind up. The Vecca's Apple, that almost just completely murdered Noodles in the face. Yeah. Hero is genuinely a really strong character because of stuff like that. It mm -hmm. can yeah. feel like that at some times. He, Noodles just shot the uh, neutral B into Zero Spark, which had bounce activated. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that was. Mounts uh, actually feels like it's really good in the ditto. It prevents a lot of the main menu options yeah, that yeah, it really Hero does. could surprise you with. Yeah. I think Hero is just like a pretty good character, secretly. You know how to speed read the menu. Hmm. Yeah. And if you want to learn, like, I don't know, like 18 languages. I don't know how that works, actually. Imagine if you travel to a major and you had to read the language you completely did not understand. It'd be uh. terrible. <laughs> I guess that is one of the downsides of maining hero. You have you were forced to become like a translator, whether you like it or not. Yeah, that and like, I feel like a lot of the Japanese players kind of had that issue traveling internationally yeah, when they yeah, would run into exactly. heroes. Definitely. Being well, unable to read the menu is kind of a Ready? yeah, not very oh, good no, to play against. Noodles giving up on the uh, hero ditto. He's like, all right, no more games. I'm here for the win. Is he telling everyone that he wants to win? Unlike how Solite did it, Solite just wanted to uh, take the win through. Uh... He was just there to roll. <laughs> yeah, he was there to roll. But oh no, what, what's happening? Is PS1 oh, yeah. legal? Oh yeah, PS1 is legal. That's why. I, I, I didn't realize it for a second. Yeah. Alright, PS1 unfortunately not legal. Maybe if you guys are such a big Melee fan, you can go play Melee and play on PS1 where you can like wobble a guy against the ledges with Pikachu jab or something. I don't know, it's crazy. That used to be me. That was middle school junkyard, dude. Damn. Tell me wow. about it. I was all about middle school John Carroll and the stories he had. He was kind of a feisty kid. He popped off on a guy who SD'd that, 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 <laughs> in his that, first that, tournament. That's crazy. I yeah, was a that, fiery kid. That's crazy. You pop off against a guy which SD's. It wasn't even game three. <laughs> it was game one. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was that kid. Was that Melee? Yeah, it was in Melee too. Dad. Of course. That, that's quite the history lesson from the Junker I do right there. Yeah. I think I... I still kind of carried that with me. The oh, the dude, intensity. The... PS1 again. What's happening? Are, are they just gonna play on PS1? This isn't even legal. Uh, okay. Okay, people Can they are gentlemen to it? Dios, uh, who are they watching? I, 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 I don't really have any say in this decision. 
But I, I guess it doesn't matter because PS1 isn't like great game offensive or anything, but guys, mm. please refrain from doing this or I, I will actually have to uh, start putting out real punishments. On Rehead right. TO and Head Commentator and Head uh, Stream Manager. Alright, anyway. He's doing everything this tournament. Yeah. It, it is the life of what you need to do to keep the scene alive for uh, the lazy people. That, that is how it is. Because in, in Singapore, people just want to play and beat each other up. They don't really care about a lot of other things. They do? I mean, that's good. It's good to have a scene that wants to play. Yeah. Anyways, back to the match. Zeno's are going to hit Doodles with the fully charged RB. Don't know what kind of crazy sorcery he was trying out there, but it seems to have worked out in his favor. Goes, goes for a twag, goes for a snooze. He's burning options left, right, and center. He only has 8 mana left. Goes for the risky dash tag, doesn't pay off. Alright. No really know what he's trying now. Alright. Is he gonna go for the Hocus Focus? No, he's gonna go for the Kaboom, but it misses. Alright. Mm. Yeah. It is a little difficult to use the menu options reactively, especially as a ledge chat, but they can be fairly rewarding. I think, if, if I'm not wrong, According to hero players, the optimal way to let trap with hero is actually to just like uh, pull many options. Because mm. options like options like flame slash and Prepackle slash, they're insanely large, they can two frame. And uh they're frame five. And they kill. So Wow, right. alright. Big ass smash right there from Xeno's part. Smacking the Kirby in the face for his troubles. Yeah. We, we can really see from this match that it really shows Xeno Sparks' uh, unproficiency of the character as he's really just playing it for fun and giggles. Meanwhile, Noodles is here pulling out his main and t showing people that he really wants to win. <laughs> yeah, Xeno Sparks is kind of just having a good laugh and a good time. Oh wow, I think he read the jump with the hammer, but he just slightly mistimes it. <laughs> So now... I mean, obviously Zero Spark is playing Hero, and Hero can make some unbelievable feats happen, so... We can... We're definitely not allowed to cover them out. Right now, we're just gonna... See what happens. 90% deficit. It's not impossible to come back from. Mm -hmm. not, not yeah, can, it. yeah, not that Multiple you can find another fair one as much by Kirby, though. Yeah, Doodle's really just going for a lot of raw S smashes or just smash decks in general right now. Mm -hmm. It is uh, a bit tricky to punish as a character like Hero. He doesn't really have any good ways to whip punish you. Yeah. Oh boy. Right there, the stone will take the game. And I think, uh. I think Zero Spark might want to swap to his main B Brawler from here on out. Because, yeah, I think his, uh, his friend Doodle's has made it very clear cut that he's not out here to play any more fun games. He's out here to win. And I'll, I'm interested to see Zero Sparks' response to that. If he wants to continue to have some fun and pick some options on the menu, or will he uh, give us a match that, uh, that'll be, be a bit more proper? So do you reckon he's switching characters? Most likely. Yeah, Perhaps. that's my thought, dude. Right now they're both 1-1, one, one, so the guy which takes this game will go on to face against Noob47 in semi-finals. Mm -hmm. Which will be a very interesting match to watch. I'm, I'm interested to see Noob47 pull out some crazy plays once again. Uh, just another quick update on the bracket. Yes, and has taken it 2-0 over Goblin, so he will be playing Yeats in the next streamed match, I believe. Yep, that is correct. Yeah, he's going to go to main B-Brawler. Yeah. I haven't been able to keep up with any of the matches. <laughs> Was your internet really a lagging back that much? I think it might be Koro's. But there's the the, the yellow exclamation point in, uh, in Discord. It's been there for a while. Haunting. It is an ominous presence on my screen. Yeah, anyways, uh, right now, Xenospark versus Noodles, 
Yeah, Zero Spark starting off with quite a healthy lead right now. And uh, just kind of dashing around uh, in and out of uh, Zero's first range and just trying to find an opening. Okay. I can finally say that he got a down smash on the roll at the ledge. I can finally see what's going on. That's hype. I didn't think Xena Spark would run the, the flame kick side B. Yeah, he actually picks that as his the primary like side B option, which is quite mm. interesting. He it says is. he values the recovery aspect of Global Lord. Right, Me Brawler traditionally doesn't have a great recovery if you don't yeah. run the... And he's, run and he's running the head-on assault down B as well, which is quite an interesting move. Yeah, you know, this, like this the... seems like the most unconventional Me Brawler I've ever seen. Yeah. Very different from the oh, fair one into F Smash. Fair one into F Smash. Yeah, a lot of the Me Brawler builds that I've seen come from NFC, and they're generally very, uh, cookie cutter. I, yeah, they kind of feel cookie cutter. Everyone runs yeah. the same down B. Everyone yeah. runs either shot put or flash knock punch. But, and then, the thing about the cookie cutter Me Brawler set is that it's it's really really strong. Like you have main jump, which is like an amazing recovery mix up. You can either run the Soaring Axe Kick or the uh, Helicopter Kick, which can either give you an incredible auto shield option or incredible equipment for muffin grabs and many other Upper is also good too. It gives you yeah. both, I think. Yeah, and Sumper also is also frame 3 out of shield. The only downside is that its re recovery aspect is probably like the weakest out of all the MVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me Brawler is overall just a very like versatile and interesting character. I think he's only been brought into light in recent times. Probably because of uh, me probably getting some results from some notable players around the world. Wow. Noodles right there with punishing, Zero Spark for the whiff, the uh, head on assault right there. And he's going to be in the driver's seat from here on out. And Zero Spark probably going to have to be a little bit more cautious if he does plan on taking this game. He needs to find the kill confirmed quickly, although it looks like Noodles is out of the percent range for Nair Up Smash or any similar confirms. He's going to have to get a raw hit. Yeah, might, might be a raw backer, raw smash out of shield, maybe? Perhaps. Or it could be forward throw at ledge. That's always an option. Does that kill? I don't, I don't, yes. I don't know about that. Oh my, how early does that kill? kill? Wow, okay. The Soaring Axe kick will kill it like 160 on Kirby. To be fair, it is Kirby after all, but still, I didn't expect that move to kill that early. Wow, Noodle's really just fishing for the fair one as smash. He goes for it even when it doesn't hit. Hmm. It is a little bit tricky to hit confirm it online, so it makes yeah. sense to just buffer it just in case it hits. Alright, he's, he's just buffering it over and over again, just hoping someone runs into it. And to no one's surprise, it does work! And he will be taking that game. And we will be seeing uh, Zeno, uh, Doodles versus Doom 47 in semi finals. And probably it could be Discord, players. according to Coral, or it could be on my end. That very, mel that very well may be the case. I could have just uh, not so good internet today. It do me like that sometimes. So it seems. Yeah, but right now we're going to be looking into uh, EKs versus Yezin. We're down to our four semi-finalists. Being Yezin Eats. Team 47 and Noodles. Yep, that'll be our top 4 for today. Quite an interesting lineup. I don't think Noodles has ever made it this far, so props to him for making it this far this time around. Mm -hmm. But I've always felt like he had the potential to, you know? Yeah, I think in SG, like, in terms of like the current lineup of players we have joining the Rose Pilot and Cable series, it could be anyone's win, honestly. Yeah. It definitely feels like that. Everyone's kind of neck and neck with each other. Yeah, everyone has a chance. Well, for now. Maybe when some of our bigger names come out to play again during the offline events, maybe a lot of things will change. But you know, that's mm -hmm. not a thing just yet for now, so we will have to see. Xenospark throwing to fix the entire tournament outcome. I don't think that's how we run our... Yeah. That's nice. not allowed, that's collusion. Corruption? Delusion. Alright.